Heute sind wir in einer der größten privaten VW-Bus-Sammlungen, die ich je in meinem Leben gesehen habe. Wir sind bei Gabriel Iglesias in Amerika, dem Comedian, der ganze Stadien füllt. Und wie seine Sammlung aussieht, was dahinter steckt, das wird er uns gleich erzählen. Und bis dahin darf ich mich erstmal ein bisschen umsehen. Hey, Will, thanks for having me. Thank you, thank you very much. Welcome, Christian, and welcome to the Fluffy Volkswagen Museum. I am your host, Gabriel Iglesias. It's an amazing place you set up here. I was lucky enough to walk around half an hour, so not enough time to see everything, so. It's a lot, fun? it's a lot. It's, it's like Disneyland for people that love Volkswagens. So I'm definitely in the right place. Yes. Would you show me around? Yes, and then afterwards, I'll show you the gift shop. Thank you. My first uh, bus was a 1968 uh, Bay Window. It was eight shades of primer and Bondo. It was very much like nothing you see behind me. It, it, it was rough. It was very, ugh, yeah. It, it, you could tell there was a budget involved. And that's primarily the reason why I got the car. My brother helped me get it and uh, we had to piece it together in order to have something that was functional. And I spent more time pushing it than I did driving it, but that's because I didn't have the resources to make it what I wanted it to be. And that's where the love started. And did you still keep it, your first car? Unfortunately not, but I do have something that looks like what it would have looked like had I have had the resources. And that's this one right here. This is in fact a 1968 and it is the color and the way that I wanted that bus when I was 19 years old to look but it did not look like this at all. Yeah, it was, it was ooh, oh, oh, a different time. <laughs> Next to it is a, again a T2, uh, obviously a newer one, but what's about that? So uh, let me tell you a little bit about this one. This one actually, uh, I used it on a television show on a sitcom I had on Netflix called Mr. Iglesias. And so that was the bus that the, uh, the, the show's based on a school teacher and you know with again wages and just you know what's a what's a person's car what's a regular person everyday person's car and i i love the fact that the volkswagen not just because it's it, that's what it means in german but it is definitely a people's car yeah. and i says you know what a school teacher driving this of course it makes all the sense in the world and so we had this bus featured on television and then what i did uh i did a little something uh secret a lot of people don't know about but i'm gonna tell you i d actually did a uh, subaru swap on it oh wow yeah so this this is actually powered by a, a turbo uh a subaru engine that's a that's a turbo and it, it it goes way faster than it should and it's still a boxer engine it, it is <laughs> it fits it fits nice and it's it's very quiet like when you turn on the bus you feel like it's not on because it's so quiet because we're so used to these yeah. you know having a certain sound and a vibration and you just feel like all right here we go so this one is very quiet but i'm not going to say it, it's very reliable because it has also left me on the side of the road for different reasons i'm sure if you hitchhike somebody will stop you know nowadays i think that i have a really good chance of getting a ride if i uh, you know stick my leg out put the thumb out <laughs> it's not it's not the norm anymore like it's seen as if you're on the side of the road most of the time people will drive by but i, I have a feeling that i have that kind of face where you know hey can i help and now we come to the older ones all right so yeah these these two right here clearly bay window buses uh, 1968 and this one is a 1974. 1974 uh, is the last year here in Southern California before you have issues with emissions. Wow. So emissions is a big deal, especially in the state of California. So 1975, every car after that has to go through smog checks and you have to meet certain you know, okay. guidelines and standards. So 74 is the cutoff. So I says, I don't wanna have any problems. So 1974 is as high as it went. The license plate on this one is actually fast bus. Why? Because it is a fast bus. This, this is, it, you can't tell. It, it is a work of art, but it, it has some incredible pick up and go. And you can get on the freeway, get off the freeway, and you can actually pass cars in this one. It is, uh, is kind of scary. How fast is it? How fa I've had it up to 90. I had a look in the engine compartment. 
So you saw what I'm talking it's about. It's a real piece of art. Yes. It's so un unbelievable that you are driving it. Not it's, a, so clean. it's not a daily driver. Not, let's just make let's just make that clear. It's not a daily driver, but <laughs> but uh, it very much could be. Every week we go through the cars and make sure everything's going good. And if something's not going right, they uh, they put a post-it note on here to let me know. Do not drive. And then Henry, uh, Henry's actually the uh, the gentleman who's done all the restorations and the hard work on these cars to make them as beautiful as that they are as they are. So that just means we got to get a hold of Henry. So he's got to fix something in order to take this out. But it's beautiful, it is a camper, and yes, it has a bed. And I guarantee you, people have been created in it. Um, <laughs> that was one thing too I had to get used to was slamming the doors. It's like there's such beautiful pieces of art, so the thought of doing something like that is like, ooh! But unfortunately, you you can't be gentle with them. It's not a, a you know a modern BMW that has that little thing where you close the door slightly and it and it finishes it off for you. You have to put a little bit of muscle in it. But yes, this uh, this actually started off here in California. It was an, an all white uh, all white uh, camper bus, and a gentleman in Germany purchased it and it took it to Germany, and he had it there for several years, and then. Uh, I was looking for a camper and a buddy of mine found one out there and he goes, hey, well, there's a man in Germany that wants to sell it. And so it went from Germany back here to uh, Southern California. So this bus has lived in Southern California and Germany for many years. And once it got here, I didn't like it white. It was plain. It was so basic. And so I said, you know what? To my friend Henry, can we do some magic? And, you know, this is not the normal color scheme. These buses did not come looking like this back in the day. This is very, very custom. The difference with this one is, um, hmm, let me see. This, I wanna say is a nine, this should be a 67. I know, nope, I was, it's a 65 as well. Okay. It's a 1965. I do remember that this one also came all white. And I says, you know what, it's just, it's so plain. Anytime the bus, it's like, it, it's a canvas waiting for you to do something with it. From the inside and out, I mean, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Now, this truck right here, this is, uh, this is a very, dependable this could be a daily driver all day it did not come with all the accent pieces there was no chrome there was nothing on here that was chrome it was very basic it was just a workman's truck it was to get your stuff in get your stuff out go to work and uh you know we we had some fun with it and and decided to beautify it and it's yeah. it's a beautiful truck and it it's a lot like the fast bus that i showed you earlier this can also <laughs> pass a car or two. So also some adjustments on the a engine? A couple of adjustments <laughs> on the engine, but it is a Volkswagen engine. I wanna say this is a, watch. No, this is probably 50, nope, 61. It's a 61. A lot of people go, well, well, if you have so many buses and you're so good at these buses, how come you don't know the years? Because I have a lot of them. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's why I put little things on the side to always remind me what the years are. So the license plate is real 23 window. The reason for the word real is because there are so many uh, people out there that do recreations. Their, their buses are basically, they start off one way and then they add windows, they add accessories and they do things to it to turn it into a 21 or 23 window bus. Uh, the reason why I put real on there is because this is as close to original as possible. All the windows that it has, that's what it came with when it first came off the assembly line. This is the only bus that we kept and it's just as, as close to original as possible and that's why it gets that license plate. I like that. It's the real 23, because clearly everything else has had modifications. There's been things that have been done. So you prefer a modificated bus instead of an original one? I prefer uh, as close to reliable. I prefer as close to practical. You know, uh, there's a lot of purists out there. Or no, I should say there's not a lot of purists, but the ones that are, you know, there's like this many purists and this many people that, that definitely are like, ooh, I just want something cool. This started off as a just a, a Dove Blue uh, truck. And unfortunately, I was catfished with photos. It doesn't just work in relationships, it also works in cars. The pictures looked great. When I saw the pictures, I said, wow, I can't believe I'm gonna get it for such a deal, such a great price. 
And then when it got here, I realized why I was paying the price I was paying. Okay. And unfortunately that price cost me a lot more because then the problem is then I got invested in the car and I says, all right, well, maybe if I fix this, 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 and this, it'll be better. So then once I started fixing one thing, then I wanted to fix another thing. And then my guy Henry's like, you know, if we just give it a little bit more love and attention, we could turn this into something. And this, it's like a butterfly. It's like it started off this little ugly, nasty caterpillar. And now it's this thing of beauty. This bus went from being the one that I just hated that I was catfished to being the most celebrated because I actually drove this bus out onto stage at the biggest show I've ever done. And it, and it aired on Netflix. So what does it mean, biggest show? The biggest show. So I did a show in front of 50,000 people at Dodger Stadium and I drove this bus out onto the stage. Wow. The biggest thing for both of us. It was yeah. like, wow, yeah. I'm not saying that I, I looked like the car before, but <laughs> yeah, go, going out on stage at Dodger Stadium definitely made the, that was the, the crown moment for this car. Wow. This bus okay. is called Tropic Thunder because it's like tropical because of the, yeah. you know, the, and the whole interior also is very, it's very non, non-traditional. It's, it's uh, been modified a little bit. It looks uh, a little bit like a beach house or so. Some yes. Bright interior and so Very, on. very bright. And so this is definitely one where if you took it to the beach, you open up the back, you got coolers back there. It's got a great sound system. It's a, it's a party bus for sure. <laughs> It is for sure a party bus. I just watched a little bit around, so you got these unique vents. Never seen that. So that is an accessory uh, that you can order. It's like a little window vent. You wanna show this? Oh yeah. Yeah, I had never seen these before. And basically all it is is a piece that you insert. So see, there you go. Wow, that's cool. Believe me, when we first got them, we were trying to figure out how, it, where do you put it? You know, and then it finally like, oh, it sunk in. That's how it goes. Cool. The last in the row, in the row what is that? Okay, now these are uh, color combinations that definitely were not available when this came out. And I guarantee you this is the 1967 and I'm gonna confirm it right now. 1967, yes. This, uh, this bus actually, uh, I don't remember the original color because it's, I've had it like this for a little while. Originally we called this bus Iron Man because it's like the Iron Man colors. I'm a big Marvel fan. And so Iron Man's colors, uh, people also say, hey, well, you know, the Cleveland Browns, same colors, football team here in America. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like a root beer color and a little bit of the Sunfire orange. But it's, it's beautiful. Every time I take this bus out, people are just, they're staring and they're just like, wow. Uh, it, it shines so bright in the sun. It is, it is definitely the most eye-catching bus I have. It is. Um, so you mentioned the production line a couple of cars ago. Have you ever been to Hanover, to the factory? Because nearly all of your buses have been built in Hanover, in the factory. Have you ever been Wolfsburg, to Wolfsburg? No. Right? No, Hanover. Hanover. Well, there's since a, there's, 56, since I've, 56. I've never been to that. No, I've been to the uh, Wolfsburg plant, but never, never Hanover. So if you ever come to Hanover, I would love to invite you to visit. He's the saying factory. it on camera. So yes, I, I want to go. Into camera. So. Yes, I want to go. And I will put one more on. So not only the factory. He's going to take me to dinner too. No? Don't lunch? Ask for lunch. Too, don't ask for too much. Okay. So Snacks. <laughs> vending machine. Yeah, vending. That's, that's You're okay. going to take me to the vending machine. We have them. Okay. We have them. I will show them to you. And we have a collection of buses. 70 or 80 buses in one place. Oh, wow. And if you would like to go there, I would be happy to show this place to you. Like you showed me your place, I would love to show you our place. So next time? Yes. I say yes. So when you have these beauties in line, have you any things on the wish list? You know what, what I've always wanted is the uh, first gen. So the 1950 uh, barn door, yeah. that's the first year that they came out. And um, I have met a few people that, that own them, but unfortunately, yeah, I'm not, they, they want, they, they want blood. They want next of kin. They want, yeah, it's, it's, mm, I want it, but I don't know. Uh, people have, uh, been asking somewhere along the lines of a quarter of a million dollars for, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, no, no, I'll, 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 I'll buy a poster. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ruth, thanks for the day and looking forward to see you in Hanover to show you our place. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. 
Take care. Bye-bye.